In this tutorial we're going to add the slider to our painting app so that we can change the thickness of the pen that we're drawing with. We're going to introduce a KV file so that we can separate the function from the look of our app and we're going to also look at some of the strange um, some of the strange behavior of the KV um, GUI, GUI interface where um, if we click in one area it's assumed by the program that all um, widgets want to receive um, that event and how we deal with that. Okay so let's create our paint um, program where we have a slider that controls the thickness of the pen. Um, this is the one we had before which basically ran um, without us um, using a KV file. I'm going to make this one use a KV file so I can separate the function from the look. I've just changed this to simple line 2 and I've obviously put it here as well. Now, because I'm going to put in a KV file I want one class that's going to um, basically be the root widget for um, my um, for my app. So I'm going to set up a new class. I'm going to call it controller. Remember that um, I put all the code in the description below. So a controller is a box um, a box layout. Um, so just close that, and then we want to call it um, init function and we want to call the um, the init function for the actual box layout so that's going to be controller self dot init and then what we're going to do is we're going to have a function that responds to us moving the widget. Now it's going to be called um, thickness, new thickness I should say, and double S and that's going to um, take self of course and it's going to take args and args if you remember from our widget um, tutorial sends two values, one being the value of the slider and one being the name of the slider that actually did it. At this point I'll just put pass in here and we'll affect that later on. Um, I've got here return painting, of course it's going to have to be return controller in this case. Let's put another space in there and then what we're going to do, we're going to go up here to um, this key V bit here we can see what's going on so really what happens it calls the widget I think this should actually run let's just have a quick look yeah and I've got a widget and if I click on the widget app ah, now it won't move I'll let's show that again I'll move if I click below but it won't move if I'm on here let's do one more thing show you something else I can draw my line I can move along um, but we're not changing the thickness of the line so let's um, put the code in new thickness so new thickness, um, it takes those two values, I want to say t equals um, args1 which is the value from the slider and actually I need to take something in here, let's have um, the thickness equal to 1 and I can set the thickness of the line um, up here so what I'm going to do um, just after this one, comma, and it's width equals thickness. Um, now, you know, that's um, got us going on there. They're all connected. So the next thing um, I want to do is, oh, so I've got this bit here. I'm still working on that one. I want to affect the thickness value. So we're going to say, right, can we refer to the global one that's out here and let's make that value equal to t. Now we'll be able to change the line so there's a thin line, let's click below we'll do that one but we've still got this odd thing going on if I try and move. Now what happens? Well when we actually click or drag anywhere here everything here thinks that I'm talking to it and that's just the way that Kiwi does it because it's um, really designed for touch inputs where we can go over many areas. So what we need to do, we need a way of checking where we're actually clicking. So what I'm going to do here, and this should make sense when I write it in, I'll say 
um, if self dot collide point. So this basically says, look, when I click, if I collide with this one here, um, if this point, which is touch dot pos, happens to be um, within that widget touch, then fine, let's go for it. And what we're going to do there is we're going to do that, and then we want the same thing to, there's still going to be a problem later on, but we'll show that. There's going to be the same thing happening here. Whoops, let's tab in there. So now when I run it, it should run a little bit better, so I can click, and now I should be able to drag this and make it bigger, make it bigger, go right to the end, a nice fat line. But there's a problem. I'm going to click here and then I'm going to drag. And it went wrong. And that's because I started this move command outside and uh, it didn't like what I had to do there because obviously this move is designed to work once we've already um, got a point going on here. Okay, so let's just change things slightly. I think what we'll first of all do is we'll make it so it's clear where the slider is. We want to do that by changing its color. So I'm going to say here, um, canvas before. So this is I'm going to set the background color. I'm going to set the color. And we're going to do that with an RGBA um, and we're going to make it 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 which is white and then I'd like to use that to draw a rectangle and I want to go it from the initial position of self pos which will be the top corner and then I want it to have the size of the actual widget itself so that's going to be self dot size let's just see what happened there when we run that one and there you go we've got this white space at the bottom which i can draw in which is great we're almost there so how can i deal with this problem that i get that when i start drawing my line from here once i get into here i get a problem because remember it didn't do try and do anything until we got into the right area, but then it had nothing to connect it to. Right, so what we want to do there is, well, this is the way that I decided to do it. I went to the painting widget and I said, okay, let's have line. Are we drawing a line? Well, initially we're not, so let's call it false. And I say, right, if we touch down within the drawing area, which is what this says here, then let's make that line equal to true because now we are drawing a line and then I want to say here only draw a line if we go in there and we've got um, self dot line is true and obviously you don't have to say it's true um, because if it's true it's there now this will almost work we're not quite there let me draw a line I'm going to start here no problem didn't do anything did it didn't do anything. Let's draw a line now. This time it's not going to work. Why? Well, we set it to true and it, it, there was no way of turning it back. So all we've got to do, finally, def on touch up. So def on touch up. So when we come up, no matter where we are, let's set line to false. And now we've got our fully working app. I can draw, I can drag it along, I can start here, I can go there, it doesn't matter. And that is a widget where we can change the size of the line with a slider. We're going to um, build into this a little color sample in here. We can pick different samples and, and maybe we'll change this. We've got a menu along the top so we can clear what's going on. But we'll actually build this up so that we've got a more and more functional app. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, do remember to subscribe. I've put a link to the code that I've used in the tutorial in the description below. Stay in Infield with Winfield.